Hey guys, I think it's safe for us to go now. Attention, this is Racer Patrol. Do not move any further. We are here to arrest you. I'm too annoying to go to prison. My career will be ruined. What? Guys, check it. If we get these bars of soap wet enough, we can race them in the shower room. Really? What? Sure, we're not supposed to have guns. Damn. I'll have your badge for this. We don't have badges. Very well. My work here is done. Hey, Briz. Come back here, you loser. I've been reading a lot of Emily Dickinson lately. Shut up. President Zaw, sir. So good to see you, sir. We're in jail, you idiot. Yes, of course, sir. I am sorry. Gosh, Billy, what are we going to do now? I don't know. Why don't you ask our brilliant fraternity president, Trey? He's the one that got us all into this. I'm sick of you, Billy. You're always complaining about something. Dudes, check it. There's no need to fight. Why? Why what? Why not fight? There's no need to fight. I hate you. Have a seat. This is an outrage. Oh, we agree. We're just outraged by the vandalism found all over campus. I have no idea what you're talking about. We have security camera footage of you. Really? Well, I can explain. Wait, you idiots never installed those cameras. Check it out! If we film the monitors, it's like it never ends. Whoa, it's like TV got its own show. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it went a little something like this. Okay, it all started when... Sir, yes, sir. It all began when... Gosh, officer, I'm not sure I remember exactly. Well, I'd just gotten out of class. It was just like any other day. I was going about my business when I ran into Jimmy and Billy. Hey Rick, what's up? Dude, not much. Where you guys been? We just had class. Well, you know what they say. You gotta have class to pass. Be there. Uh, Rick, remember you gotta get the beer for the party tonight. Sure thing. I made a note on my hand. That doesn't seem right. Good deal, Rick. We'll see you there tonight. Hmm. Now where can I get some deer? I really wish they'd stop changing the name of this place. Hello, ladies. Would you happen to be coming to our party tonight? Maybe. We'll see. You definitely should. Widespread monkey panic is playing. Those guys rock. I'm sure they won't be the only ones rocking tonight. Megan, check it. We're having a party tonight. I know. Trey was just reminding us. You should come. We're going to have panicking monkeys. That's widespread monkey panic. Oh, never mind. And so you were just going about your daily business. That's right. I was just finishing up a conference call that morning, and things were not going well. <laughs> No one is suggesting that Eastern Kentucky is an inferior school. Don't patronize me, Saw. I know what I heard from that wild cat. All I did was ask what are his secret love and herbs and spices. Ha 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 
you, Elmo. Gentlemen, gentlemen, there is no need for this fighting amongst ourselves. The real enemy here is our students. Agreed. Agreed. <clears throat> and do you agree? Yes, of course, silly. I was just trying to figure out why my feathers are all matted. Also, does my left breast look smaller than my right? See what we have to put up with? Thank you for filling in for Racer One. We were all sad to hear of the tragedy. Yes, that's right. All of us. It couldn't have happened to a better person, or horse, or sooner, no matter how hard I tried. Was that last part out loud? So how did you all end up out tonight when you were supposed to be having a party? Do you know the guys from CSI? Just talk. Rick, why don't you ask Jackie to the party? She's only like three foot five. Dude, she'd only come up to your waist. So? Think where her head would naturally be. So? Think what she'd be perfect for. Not basketball. I'd kill her at it. Not basketball. I'd kill her at any sport. Except maybe horse racing. 23, man. 23. All the way, man. 23. That's it, man. 23. What's his deal? And where's Billy and Trey? Trying to pick up dates outside. They're hitting on the girls as they jog by. There sure are some hot ladies out tonight. There sure are, good buddy. Oodles of them. Chicks dig it if you quote things to them. Watch this. You complete me. That's what I could be saying to you tonight if you come to our party. Excuse me? We're going to have an open bar. Maybe you'd like a nice Keani with some fava beans? Creep. Maybe you should have asked her to show you the money. I'm about to see dead people. What are you watching now? Super Guy versus Nature and more. Don't worry, Timmy. By the power of Thundor, I will stop those Nazi bears. No, it's not Nazi bears attacking. It's both Nazis and bears. Actually, the bears are mostly socialist. Go over again why we can't check the weather on the Weather Channel? Mr. Mittens, he says the media is biased. For rain? It'll be a cold day in hell when the media admits it's, well, a cold day in hell. Rick, where's the beer? Uh, beer? Fine, I see how it is. The deer only gets invited by mistake. I'm out of here. Well, at the store, I suppose. Gosh, Rick, that was your one job. In all fairness, you should have known better. Come on, let's go get it before the girls get here. I know how the others got out that night, but exactly how did you and one of our officers get mixed up with them? I was just out for a casual stroll. May I remind you that your comments can be used in court? Fine. We were out doing something else. President Zah, sir, do you really think it is a good idea to be stealing the student newspaper, sir? How dare you question my decision? Is it not good enough that I say to do it? Must it be reason to you? No, sir. Sorry, sir. Besides, it was Vice President Barry Broccoli's idea. First, we have to get by the rickety stairs with the bowling ball. Then the bathtub hanging conspicuously in midair. Then the net before it falls on us at the end there. Sir, you're describing mousetraps, sir. Just get the papers. I don't want anyone seeing us. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Tell me what kind of evil you were up to that night. I wasn't up to any evil. Sure you were. Just tell me. I don't even know how to be evil. Don't play dumb with me. 
You know all about evil. 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 Mom! Mom! What is it, dear? Mom, I had a bad dream. I saw a monster in my closet. This is not Pixar, dear. There's no monsters in your closet. Now go to bed. Mom, are you sure nothing's going to get me? Of course, dear. Now go to bed. I gave Satan directions to your room. He'll be by shortly. Thank you, Mom. Hello, Rick. Rick's not here. He's in the room down the hall. Really? Oh, terribly sorry to bother you then. Rick, stop taunting the Dark Lord. Oh, that's all right. The little whippersnapper fooled me good. <laughs> Rick. 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 Are you okay? How did you all end up on campus? What campus? Ugh, bring me the cat. Um, where is everyone? What the hell are we doing at a frat party anyway? Cameos. I think I could be gay. Not again. If it weren't for the whole sleeping with other men bit. But I mean, when it comes to having good taste in clothes, furniture, and that kind of stuff, those would be useful traits. This is true. I'd make a great lesbian, but they don't really have any special powers like gay men do. They even lose a power to have babies. <sighs> hmm? Hey, hey bonafide. bonafide. I'll never talk, coppers. We found three ounces of catnip on you. Cooperate, and we'll maybe overlook that fact. It's for medical reasons. But just because I'm such a nice guy, I'll tell you that we were on our way when... Uh, gosh, Rick, where are you leading us? It had better be a beer. Uh, yeah, sure. Almost there. I'll be right back. We'll never see him again, will we? I'm thinking of getting a tattoo. Of what? A bullseye on my chest. That way, if I ever get assassinated, I can judge for accuracy. What exactly were you doing while Rick was away? You know what they say. When the moron's away, the cat shall play. Who says that? Fine. We got high. Tom, my friend, this is some heavy-duty catnip. Are you sure you can handle it? Twenty-three, man. Twenty-three all the way. Twenty-three what? He doesn't know. He's been up since seven this morning drinking, trying to get ready for this party. I've got to pee. Do you think we'll ever see him again? I hope not. In fact, that reminds me of a song. When I was but a kitten, not even six weeks young, I found myself abandoned, no one to hug and love. And the streets were so cold and frightening for such a puss as I. I cried each night and morning for my abandoners to die. Horrible deaths involving but saws, axes, and other such. Horrible deaths discarding body parts but not leaving too much. Damn it, Mr. Mittens! You know not to play guitar when I'm trying to pee! I had to start dancing when you were playing, and I peed all over myself. Is Rick ever getting back? Hey, buddy, want to try some free schnapps? I keep trying to get him to move, but all he does is lay there. Oh man, hey, you can't leave me alone, alright? I'm just a little tired, I guess. Holy sh! Hey, you see those ghosts? Man, you kids want some pizza rolls? Uh oh, looks like we got a customer. Should I kill this one? No, no, no! We don't have to kill every customer. Sometimes we can take a different approach, like this guy. Maybe he'll just leave on his own. And if he doesn't? Hi guys. I needed to buy some beer for a big party tonight. We're all out. Of every kind? I want to trade in my ticket. I won 50 of the tickets playing D-Touch Ski Ball. Awesome. 
There, beat it. As for you, we're all out. Now. I found it, guys. This way. I found it on my way back. Rick, do I even have to begin to tell you how wrong you are on this one? Um, no. But what would you say? Lousy journalist. What are all of you doing here? Attention, this is Racer Patrol. We have a report of a newspaper theft. Stinking journalist. Run! It was then that they kidnapped me and forced me along with them. Yes, sir. Obviously, sir. Just one thing doesn't make sense. What is that? Pretty much all of it. President Czar was able to explain everything. You're all free to go. Same time next week? As always. So what do we do now? Gosh, Billy, I don't know. The party is pretty much a bust. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Go home? Go study? Go away? Buy illegal fireworks? 23? Destroy our enemies? No, let's get drunk. Am I losing it, or did Rick just have a good idea? Try not to think about it too much. Where's the party? Well, as Bonafide was just pointing out, it looks like it was cancelled, though secretly. Well, now our whole night is wasted. There, there. In Germany we have a saying, nothing is wasted if you meet me. Huh? That, it's just an old saying. Don't ask me to explain. It's like two peas in a pod. They're not similar at all. Or who let the dogs out? I hate you.